Um, I'm going to be very honest with you. Um, I feel like I didn't have enough time to understand and review the my performance standards and then kind of adjust and improve my performance based on those standards. I appreciate the honesty and I, I understand your frustration. Please know this, this isn't something that's supposed to be a heavy lift for you. Okay. As an organization, we are constantly changing and, and we strive to be flexible and take things in stride and, and we want to help you with that. That's why these new My Performance Standards are a reflection of what we already know through our principles of community, our code of conduct, our core values, things that mm -hmm. we are all already familiar with, and sure. we are just streamlining it into a different process. Okay. I mean, that makes sense, um, but I guess when I'm looking at it, I don't see specifically how the previous kind of standards that I was used to are aligning with the new standards that I see written down. Uh, completely understandable. Ever When there's a change of this magnitude, there's always going to be some hesitation as to how is it familiar to what I already know. Yeah. And so perhaps to ease some of your concerns, what we can do is go line by line into each of the different criteria that we will be using under okay. the new My Performance Standards yeah. and see where that overlap is and we can have that interactive discussion together to make sure that you don't have those concerns anymore and so that we really can be both benefiting from this new My Performance uh, rubric. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense and I get it and I, I think kind of knowing that there's observable behaviors is good because I didn't always see that in the previous standards. So I think that is kind of something positive. So why don't we begin with talking about what you feel some of your strengths are sure. currently? Sure. I think um, I have a great way of communicating with others, um, interdepartmental, but also with other departments as well. I feel like I have a good form of um, communicating professionally, um, but also being able to collaborate with them. So I think those two things, communication and collaboration, are two of my strengths. That's good to hear. And I believe that we would be able to find where that overlap is with what the older performance standards are yeah. with what we are now implementing as a part of the new My Performance criteria. And switching gears a little bit, mm -hmm. what do you think is are, are some areas that you would look to improve based on what your performance is at now? Sure. Um, I think the biggest way that I can improve my kind of performance this year is the timeliness of my work. Um, Sometimes when I get a little bit too flustered or overwhelmed with the type of work, it's hard for me to kind of gauge the priority of requests that are coming in. So I think the timeliness of kind of getting things completed is something I do want to improve in this year. And I think with the objective standards that we have under my performance, with what you already know on the based on the previous uh, criteria that we've used, mm -hmm. We are able to see exactly where those issues are, figure out between yourself and myself what resources and what assistance I can give you to help you prioritize, to help you organize and make sure that those timeliness issues do become improvements sure. throughout the entire year. Okay. I'm going to be very honest with you. I was really surprised when I saw effective on my performance. For the past like five years, I've only gotten fours and fives. I think you kind of need to explain to me why I'm just an effective performer this year. I understand where you're coming from, Annie, and it's not that you're just an effective performer. It's a new process, a new system that we're evaluating, and being an effective performer means that you are competent in your job. It's a good evaluation. It means that you can perform all of the job duties that you have in your position. I mean, you say that I'm competent in my work, but I feel like I go beyond that. I mean, when I look at these standards, I'm definitely at least the lead. Sometimes I'm a strong performer in most of these situations, especially compared to my colleagues. So I think you really kind of need to explain to me why overall you think I'm just an effective performer. And that's a discussion I'm more than happy to have with you. I want to alleviate your concerns and, and hopefully we can both understand exactly where you feel that you need explanation and we can go by each part of the evaluation section by section. I have some observations that I have noted throughout the year that we can discuss and perhaps there are things that you would like to bring up to me that I, maybe I didn't put that much weight into it yeah. or take into consideration yeah. to help ease that concern and help you understand exactly where, where that evaluation process is. Okay, I mean I think that definitely 
will work. Um, I may need some time to think about it, but thank you for offering to kind of go over each of those criteria with me. But sure, let's let's schedule a time for next week to meet. That way we can both get into the evaluation and, and start thinking about it so that when we come back in, we can have a productive discussion. And I'm, like I said, more than willing to, to help explain some of it and, and listen to your concerns and go from there. Okay, that sounds good. Let's do that.